Hey guys, 22 Plinkster here. This past January, CCI introduced a new shot shell. Now, they've had shot shells in the past, but they've been filled with number 12 bird shot. Uh, you know, in the past, they've been chambered in the 9mm, the 357 38 Special 44 uh, Magnum, and also the 45 Colt. Well, they sent me some of their new Big Four, and it's the same shot shell, but it, these things are not loaded with the number 12 bird shot. These are loaded with number 4 shot. So, the idea behind this is you'll get a lot more knockdown power and also more penetration, but you are sacrificing pellets. And you've got to remember these things, these shot shells are fired usually out of rifled barrels or rifled pistols. So I, po I posted on my Facebook page, you know, ideas what you what guys wanted to see, but the most common was barrel lengths and at what distance, how big the shot would be. So right here, I've got the first shot, it's gonna be my Henry Big Boy. Now this is chambered in the 357 38 Special. Uh, second, I'm gonna be shooting with a six inch barrel. This is Ruger Blackhawk. And thirdly, this is the smallest barrel of a 357 that I have. This is one of these COPs. Um, four barrels <laughs> on this thing. It's not really a revolver, so I guess it is a pistol. Um, but it has a two and a half inch barrel. And I'm going to be shooting at 5, 10, and 15 feet just to see what the spread is. So I'm going to quit talking right about now. Let's do some shooting. All right, the first shot with the Henry Big Boy chambered in a 357 38 Special. Now this is at 15 feet. Wow. All right, second firearm we're gonna be using is the Ruger Blackhawk chambered in the 357 Magnum. All right, now let me grab the COP. All right, the two and a half inch barrel, 357 COP. You can see right down through there. It's got four barrels now. I don't know exactly which barrel fires at what time, so I'm just going to load four in there, but I'm only going to shoot once. I doubt very seriously that this short barrel will even hit that paper at that distance, but uh, we'll find out. And not only that, um, we'll also, a lot of people use this particular pistol for like a tackle box pistol for uh, when they're out fishing in case they run up on a venomous snake. So. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what it's actually going to do, so here we go. Wow! <laughs> That's actually the best pattern we've had so far. So, all right, let me take these down and we're going to scoot in at 10 feet with the other rifle and the other pistol, and of course, this again, and see what it does at 10 feet. All right, now we're getting a little bit closer uh, to the targets. This is 10 feet. This is actually what these rounds were actually developed to do for and to be shot at 10 feet and under. So here we go. First with the uh, Henry Big Boy. All right, that looks pretty good. Now let me grab the Ruger. All right, next, the Ruger Blackhawk at 10 feet. Wow. That's kind of impressive. All right, now let me grab that COP. All right, last but not least, at 10 feet, the 357 mag COP with the two and a half inch barrel. Wow. All right, so the test already tells me that it's actually the opposite of what I, what I thought. I thought that the longer barrel would hold a tighter group, but actually it's the complete opposite, the shorter barrel, because it probably has to do something with the rifling uh, going in there and scattering these bullets as soon as they leave the barrel. But uh, that is a pretty impressive group with a little two and a half inch barrel at 10 feet. Now, last but not least, let's get up here to five feet. All right, for the final test, five feet. Now, this ammunition is was developed for uh, pest control. I said earlier in the video that the bullets were scattering. It wasn't the bullets, it was actually the shot. So I know I misspoke, but this is actually what this ammunition is designed to do for pest control. Now they developed the four shot instead of the 12 shot for larger games, such as raccoons or possums or squirrels, uh, things of that nature, something that's a little bit bigger. So you need a little bit heavier shot. So five feet, let's see what it will do. Yeah. That's more like it. Now, let me grab the Ruger. Okay, six inch barrel with the Ruger Blackhawk, five feet. 
Oh yeah. That's actually a pretty good pattern. Okay, last but not least, the little two and a half inch barrel, the COP at five feet. I'll let you guess which barrel that fired out of it. <laughs> I think it was the top of right barrel. So, all right, now that we've done all the testing we're gonna to do today, let's, uh, well, actually there's one more testing I wanna do. You know, the claim to fame with this particular ammunition would be the penetration factor of the number four shot. So I've got some three quarter inch plywood over here. Let's just see if it'll go through three quarter inch plywood. All right, I'm at five feet with a two and a half inch barrel. So I don't know if there's gonna be enough pressure to force this shot out and go through this plywood. If it doesn't go through with this, I'll try the rifle, but let's just see. All right, here we go. All right, I'm gonna grab the plywood. Okay. As you see, I don't know if you can see it or not, but there are not, they, none of them went through the plywood. So they're all stuck. Now this is three quarter inch plywood. Um, the pellets are buried deep enough here in the plywood that I can't see them. So they're probably, you know, maybe halfway through. Let me grab a rifle and let's just see if the rifle makes any difference. So let me set this back up. All right. Got my rifle here, five feet. Let's see if it'll go through three quarter inch plywood. I'm gonna shoot it a little bit lower. It didn't sound nowhere near as, quiet, as loud as the, the, the handgun. So let me take a look at it real quick. Oh yeah, look at there. So it definitely will go through three quarter inch plywood out of a rifle, but out of a two and a half inch barrel, it won't do it. So that's got me thinking, will it do it out of a six inch barrel? Got to try now. So let me put this back. All righty. Load it up in the Black Hawk at five feet. See if it'll go through his plywood. Now, if it'll go through three quarter inch plywood out of a six inch barrel, um, you know, th this, you know, this setup with this number four shot, it could take longer, larger games such as raccoons. And I think this would be a very, very popular round among trappers. That way they don't have to dispatch the animal with a, uh, say, you know, a 22 to make a larger hole in the hide. You know, they can get five feet in the traps with this, take out the animals. So here we go, five feet. All right, sure we're good? All right. what do we have there's a few there's a few small dimples in the back of this that did not penetrate through it but um, I can feel where a couple of the shots were just right on the edge of going out but you know still it almost went through three quarter inch plywood at five feet out of a revolver six inch revolver so you know that's that's still pretty powerful. That's a lot of penetration out of a uh, 357 shot shell. So, all right, I'm going to uh, cut the camera off right about now, and we're going to get the different pieces of paper and show you the different distances of what you can expect out of the number uh, four shot out of the 357 Magnum. All right, let's go through the results. One of the questions that I got on my Facebook page and Instagram page when I asked different ideas for this, uh, one of is, is, will it be hearing safe out of a rifle or out of a pistol? Um, I can't say out of a rifle, it's not very loud. Um, sounds like a 22. I always use hearing protection. Um, you know, a lot of you guys get on to me for not using hearing protection in my videos. I use hearing protection every single one of my videos. I wear plugs inside of my ear. So it looks like I'm not wearing it, but I am. Uh, out of the rifle, it's not very loud at all. Uh, it's probably like a 22. Now I can't say out of a pistol or, or out of a raw revolver, it's gonna be kind of loud. I'd never recommend you shooting it without hearing protection. So now that we got that out of the way, all right, first things first. Uh, let's do the, uh, this is the Henry at 15 feet. Now. It's not very impressive, okay? 
like I said before, this, this ammo is designed for 10 feet and under. Uh, how many pellets did we get in there? One, two, three, four, five. So five pellets at 15 feet with the Henry. So not very good. Now the Blackhawk, one, two, three, four, five, six. We actually got six at 15 feet. So a little bit better, but not great. So, and last, the uh, COP at 15 feet. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's actually eight shots in there. So it did pretty good. Right here, there's actually two shots. Well, actually looking at the back of them, there's two shots at the top too. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we actually got nine shots at 15 feet. Not bad at all. All right, so let's move on to the 10 feet uh, on the Henry. Much better. 10 feet, that's, uh, you know, that would take, you know, your small game such as a possum or a raccoon or a squirrel at 10 feet, not a problem. But if you get 10 feet from a squirrel, uh, I don't know, <laughs> you know, I would probably rather shoot it with a pistol than I would with shot shells, but that's 10 feet. And out of the Black Hawk, oh, I forgot to tell you how many was in there at 10 feet. So Henry at the 10 feet, we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 17 in the black, okay? You didn't think a Tennessee boy could actually count to 17, did you? Now the Black Hawk, six inch revolver, 10 feet, that did really good. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Really, really good. I was really impressed with that. And the last one, the COP, <laughs> that little pistol blew me away at these distances. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 24. 24. All right. That is by far the best pattern at 10 feet. So the Blackhawk didn't do too bad. Now, Henry that's that's a really good pattern of course that's at five feet now you know you know if this was your turkey shotgun at, at <laughs> you know at five feet that wouldn't be good at all but this is actually coming out of a rifled barrel so that's pretty good five feet this is what this ammo is designed for okay black hawk great i'm talking almost every single one of them well it is every single one of the pellets on the paper so that was really really good you can actually see this larger hole right here that's actually where that plastic cup went through and it actually went through the drywall so that's pretty cool now the cop it went high right because i shot out of the top right barrel uh you never know what barrel is going to go off in that in that pistol i haven't shot it enough to even find out but that's still that's still a really good pattern so this ammo you know, my recommendations, 10 to 15, excuse me, 5 to 10 feet. You know, uh, that's what CCI also tells you. You know, they've tested this stuff a whole lot more than I have. Uh, but they recommend to shoot at 10, 15 feet, uh, excuse me, 5 to 10 feet. It's for pest control. You know, it's not actually for hunting. It's for pest control. Guys, if you have any other ideas what you want me to test this ammo with next, put it in the comments below. Until next time, y'all be safe and keep plinking.